Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for Friday, August the 5th, and starting with the DAX. So we're just basically looking, still, you know, we, last time we spoke, we were looking for wave three to go up and then wave four, and then we need wave five. So that's what we're looking for at this point. So we haven't topped out yet, but We'd have to say we're pretty close at uh, this stage for um, for that. This uh, wave four here seems to be sort of gearing up nicely with the um, stochastic sort of pull. You see how the stochastics have pulled down quite deeply and yet the price has only pulled down a little bit? That's the sign that this is sort of a spring is ready to, to push this up through here. So even though that we uh, talked about taking profit yesterday, on the DAX here being if Friday closes strong then Monday can come into Monday can be strong as well so basically what we're looking at here is that um, we've got a corrective pattern to the downside so we could uh, look to you know if you see that the market's uh, looking firm you can move in uh, here and we'll be taking out a top uh, above that point there so anywhere above not too far above the 38 by the way because I mean the wind has been taken out of the sails once so it might just go to um, 820 or something like that you know what I mean it might not be a big big deal at that point but if you wanted to move back in there's a small you know little leg to uh to move in on there that's sort of okay you could build another position on top of the 13,700 and the uh, stock 50 is the same as well. So uh, we could also move back in here if you wanted to do that as well. Wave four is being completed now. So um, just copy that. I mean, that would have been the place to go, but you can, anywhere there's fine. And the important thing here really is that, um, I'll just grab the stop. No matter where you get in, the stop needs to go under there, okay? So where, whenever the video comes out, whatever you do, that's where the stop needs to go. And we're looking for a move up close to the 3.8. So taking profit anywhere, you don't, have, you don't have to wait to get to that number, anywhere from above that, to here but always kind of remember too that in Elliott terms when we're counting up here it's always really most of the time 90% of the time it's the wave three that comes in around the, the previous top there so when you're counting so just expect that but um, certainly expect the market within group two here 65 72 and 80 to um, house the wave four and then wave five to the upside and uh, the FTSE uh, the FTSE will probably push up as well again today, but I had to go based on the one, two, three, four, and five up here to 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 move out of here. But you could probably do the same as well. Go go long here. You can see the stochastic sort of. Um, this is on five thousand ticks, by the way. That's why it's building up there. But it it it's it comes in quite nicely. You know, you can see that. Um, based on those 5,000 ticks becomes useful at that point, you know. Um, so we've got some nice cycling going on here. It's not always the case, but uh, it can be helpful. Um, yeah, so we should push up. This move down here, just visually looking at that, getting an eyeball on that visual, It's um, it looks like it's in three waves rather than, um, what's the name? So if you're, if you're staying long or you're going to go long, you just need to leave the stop under under this point here somewhere okay and the thing is is really looking for friday to be bullish and then then monday can follow through on that as well so we'll probably have to because as i've mentioned to you coming up here i didn't really know how to count this properly um, i can see part i could you could see it in different parts and i've you know it's probably not the best count here but we'll probably have to move this up here further um, and we may even get, so this might be just wave one and two here, and there might be three, four, and five here. There could be something like that, you know. I'm not quite sure, but um, uh, what I can say with a little bit of certainty is that uh, the 75 here is very important. So you're going to see, well, we've seen the arrival, we've seen the reaction, you'll see the first high above the level, there'll be some sort of a bc here or something some some type of correction and then probably a move up 
the numbers to the upside of, of course is 600 and also 7650 up here as well but for the 600 would be fine at that point because what we're working with at the moment but i think the key thing here is the uh just seeing friday being bullish which looks the case because we're seeing that in asia <coughs> so um yeah so that we should see a positive friday and that should follow through to the monday I'd go with that. And uh, the US dollar index here. So it's got, uh, I've got a different pattern here now for, for all of this, but I don't know if it's bullish or bearish. So what I've said this morning in the commodities video was simply that um, we've got wave one here. We've got wave two here. We're looking down for wave three and four and down for wave five if 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 we get this five wave structure to the downside if we get this five wave structure to the downside then we're going to get a um then we'll be bearish at that point we'll have an abc but we still need this to come down through this is the 61.8 percent here because really we could look at this this counts as five waves here so this could be an a wave a b wave and a c wave here sitting right here where that is <coughs> and we can go up from that point so the point being here if we get five waves down here then we're going to have a correction then we're going to have another five down i think that's the case um it's just the fact that if i count this down as one two three four five here for one and then the a wave here which is a nice five wave structure which is good and then this is corrective as a b wave down here blue wave b and this counts as five waves up here so i can look at it as wave one or wave a wave two or b here and then that would give us one two three four five coming down give us another five waves down here uh, which could be a c wave down here at that point too so um yeah otherwise uh because because that's five waves up here we could have an abc pattern here and then go up to here and even if we go up to this point here it still could be bearish at that point and come down from that point but we'll just need to be mindful um, of that and then if we do get one two three four five up here if we do get five waves up here then we're going to have uh then we're going to be going much higher at that point there'll be another whole section to the upside there will be wave one two three four and five up to eleven thousand five hundred at that point so i just got to sort of resolve this a little bit you know i need that five waves here to to, as evidence for another move down and you can short the b wave at that point and this would put and i think it is going to go down because when i look at the euro dollar here not the euro dollar the euro us dollar um so we can look at this as wave one or wave a here then an a and a b and a c just like i had the uh, us dollar index and because it's corrective coming across this in a sideways manner here it should be that um because i can't really i can't really go an a wave here a b wave here and a c wave up to this point even though it made a new high here i just don't have five waves here i've got this one two three four five but I, it can't be counted like that because it's got overlapping wave structures so it's corrective so i'm thinking that i'm on the right track with an a wave here a b wave over here or wave two and then going up here and it's the mirror image over here as well I'll just that could go lower here it doesn't really matter at this point but um looking at wave three up here and wave four here and wave five if we get five waves up here then we can get five waves up here then we can have an abc back here and then we can look to go long again at that point we can go long here or we can go long on the 50 60 percent pullback at that point so i think this is the case i just don't have enough evidence for it but it, the, the weight of it on this side i mean this could be down for one here and abc here and then come down from that point so that's possible but i don't think it's the case based on this here um because it's it's going sideways you know where the the s yes and with the um with the us dollar had more like an expanded flat as wave two which is a little bit rare in in wave one and two i do see it in leverage markets in fx a, a bit um more so than any other market um but at the same time it you know it's it's uh it, it i i gotta heed the warning as well you know what i mean i i i need I, when i'm not sure i need more evidence you know and that's really what i'm waiting for at this point so i'll leave it all at that cheers